Hi, this is David. We are continuing our discussion on GitHub Actions. We created in the last video a uh, simple GitHub action, uh, sometimes called a workflow, that will uh, just simply echo out some information to the screen. It's right here in this repository under the GitHub Workflows folder. I call it GCast Simple, and you can see that it has one trigger on workflow dispatch. And if you recall from the last video, that means that I could trigger it manually just by pushing a button. I wanna add some more triggers to this. And the way that I add triggers is by adding things to this on. On section defines what the triggers are. And if I wanna know more about how to do that, I can go to the docs.github.com and you can see there's a section right here for GitHub actions. And within that, there is a section for events that trigger workflow. And down here, you'll see there's all sorts of ways you can trigger this. And these are the things that you can add under that on section of the YAML file. They're listed alphabetically here. So I can go, for example, to the issues section and say, I want to do when anything happens to an issue, then I want to trigger this workflow. So right here is how I do that. Issues, there's a sample. I want to know what some of the other types are that are right here, whether it's pinned or unpinned or closed and so on. But I'm going to just copy this and I'm going to add it to my YAML file. So let me edit this YAML file right here. And in addition to workflow dispatch, I'm going to add issues, whether an issue is opened or edited. Maybe I don't care about milestones. I'll get rid of that. So if an issue is opened or edited, I want to trigger this. Another thing that I might want to do is that whenever there's a uh, any new code pushed, into this, then I might want to trigger uh, into my repository. Then I want to trigger the workflow. And there's a whole section down here. I'll search for the word push. And there we go. There's a whole section on push and it explains all sorts of scenarios. How are you going to push? And I think I'll do this. I'll say when anything is pushed to the main branch, and I can subdivide it for to say only in this folder it matters. There's all sorts of things you can do to filter this even further, wildcards, etc. But for these purposes, I'm just going to add this right here to say there'll be a trigger right there. And remember, indentation is important. So I've got three triggers, workflow dispatch, issues, but only for those two types, pushes, and only to this branch right here. So that's what I'm going to do. So now if I push code, or if I create an issue or edit an issue. Let me commit this. And I've updated this. And so now what I can do is, um, we, uh, let's test the push first. Let's test pushing code into the main branch. So I'll go to the code here and I'll make a simple change right here. Of course I can do it locally and use git push to you know git commit git push etc to do that but i'll do it in the in the editor right here i'll just edit this uh, program.cs i think that'll be fine click on the edit button right here as long as i commit something here and i'll just at the top i'll just add a comment that says trigger workflow like that commit the changes and i'm going to say uh simple change to trigger workflow that's my commit message commit changes and that should trigger it let's test that look over the actions tab and sure it is there it is there's simple change to trigger workflow you can see it's queued which means that it's waiting for a vm or container to get spun up and now it's in progress and all it does echo things out so it went really really quickly most of that was just spitting up that container and there it is there's my job really simple job just runs the script to do this there's job two right here and so on all right let's uh let's try test the other thing i said that if i create an issue that will also trigger it so why don't i go in here and say new issue and i'll say trigger my git uh, action exclamation point submit that issue and that should open a new issue which should trigger this right here and there it is and it's nice because it's identified it by the name of that issue it's queued now it's in progress and now it's done and i open it up and i can see that it ran and it did everything here so that's it. 
this in this video, I've shown you how to add additional triggers to your GitHub action. Of course, we still have the ability to run the workflow manually because we left that original trigger in there as well. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank you.